God is moving by His Spirit, moving in all the world. Signs and wonders God is using. Move, oh God, <laughs> in me. God bless you, my friend. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here just felt like singing a little bit to you because the truth is I want to remind you that God is moving by his spirit. He's moving in all the world. Signs and wonders God, God is using. And I'm saying to the God of the Bible, move, oh God, in me. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I'm excited about Bible study tonight. And I'm also excited about a report that I want to bring to you. I asked you the last time to pray for me because we were going up to Asheville, North Carolina to fight and to stand with our brother who was under attack because uh, he was accused of the unpardonable sin, the new unpardonable sin, the sin that you have to be tarred and feathered and ran out of town on is the sin of misgendering. Can you believe that? He actually referred to a school board member who was sitting on the school board dressed like a woman, but he's a man, and he referred to him in the masculine gender, and oh, all oh, Hades broke loose. Well, I'm going to say this, and I mean it with all my heart. Now, brother, if you want to put on a dress, uh, that's your business. If you want to put on pumps, uh, that's your business. You want to put on a, uh, a, a wig and, and, and get all duty dolled up to, to resemble a female because you'll never look like one. That's your business. Uh, I guess that's your right. But let me tell you something. You don't have the right to make me change my nomenclature. You don't have a right to make me change my talk. If I know that you are a guy, I'm, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not being unkind. I'm not being judgmental. I'm being accurate. You're the one who's inaccurate. And our man was accurate. And I want you to know people were there from 50 churches throughout uh, North Carolina. Third, many people turned out from the Asheville area. The church was packed and we had church. And you won't believe this. I know you guys were praying. We got favorable press coverage. Now, can you believe that? They didn't call us homophobes, transphobes, phobic. Uh, they didn't call us haters. They didn't call us all those things. And we went there in the name of the Lord. I preached a message entitled Inventors of Evil Things, dealing with the evil John Money. Uh, evil man, if there's ever been one, he brought to uh, America uh, this uh, sexual reassignment surgery. And and we told the story of this man and uh, we concluded with if you're in them, if you're uh, promoting an idea that was founded by a, a madman, an evil, a evil man, a genius, but evil. You might want to rethink that anytime a man actually says that uh, he if he would see and this is a quote from him. If I would see a 10 or an 11 year old boy in a loving, committed, consensual relationship with a 20 or 30 year old man, then he would not consider that relationship pathological. He also said that he never throughout his entire career turned in a pedophile, even if the man was practicing pedophilia while he was treating that man, he never turned him in because he believed uh, he felt that uh, pedophilia is not a bad thing. Now, that's the man who brought sexual reassignment surgery in John Hopkins uh, University Hospital. That's the man who was behind all this crazy stuff and people now are running with it. And you have whole political parties uh supporting this evil. And you got people who claim to be washed in the blood of the lamb, supporting it, or you're eerily silent. 
God's going to get you. I'm telling you, you're going to have to stand. You're going to have to decide whose side you're on. Oh my, I know you're trying to be uh, Mr. and Mrs. Neutral. I know you don't want to offend anybody, but you're going to have to speak up sooner or later and not because the church is going to put pressure on you because, you know, the modern day church doesn't put pressure on you to do anything except, uh, um, well, to do anything. The world is going to put pressure on you because the world is going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And I'm grateful to be uh, on the front lines and, and standing shoulder to shoulder with some of the greatest Christian warriors in the world today, declaring God's truth without apology. And I am I'm telling you, I'm fired up. Now, you got to join me tonight for Bible study. You got to join me because now tonight's teaching uh, is going to be uh, a little different, a little subject matter that uh, might be a yarn to you at first. Uh, you may go, wow, is that what he's so excited about? But if you hear the word of God, I'm telling you, you are going to be excited also. So uh, join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for... Bible study, you named it. <laughs> Bible study. Get I laugh every time I say that. I'm laughing at myself. Brother, brother Rock is in there. That's why I got my music from today. And uh, 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 but it, it, it excites me to be excited about the Word of God. And I thank God for the audience that God has given me. For you, my friends. Love the word of God just like I do, if not more. I don't know if you can love it more, but I'm just saying. That's why we're together. This is how we found each other. And speaking of finding each other, I want to show you something I am so proud of. Now look at this, and Gary's going to give you a close-up on it. This is New York Lifestyle Magazine. The cover is a young, born-again, spirit-filled, saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, member of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ from uh, New York. Uh, where is it from, Gary? New Rochelle. New Rochelle, New York. And uh, uh, Sister Naima Ruffin, her and her husband, they're some fantastic people. As a matter of fact, it's Dr. Naima Ruffin. And uh, uh, this young lady... Uh, and her husband, they found us during the pandemic and uh, uh, they stood their ground and uh, and just stood for Jesus and did not take down. And the enemy tried to destroy her mind. They tried to destroy her career. She's a medical doctor. They tried to just bring her down uh, former assistant clinical professor at Mount Sinai Hospital, New York City. And oh, they just wanted to come against this young lady. And look at what God has done for her. The Lord is using her. And why'd they come against her? Because she wouldn't take the jab. Is this still America? You mean to tell me just because a person decided that they didn't want to take the shot, then all of a sudden, you're going to come after her, attack her. But her and her husband, they, they love Jesus. And they were looking and they discovered the upper room. They've been here several times. They're members of our church. And I am, she's, uh, this, I'm so excited. And it says here, meet the face fitness doctor. <laughs> God is good. I'm telling you. And also one of our fine members and, and these people found us also during the pandemic. Uh, uh, Brother Corey Durham. Uh, you see, uh, we are healed. Is it his latest uh, musical offering uh, that he's he's put out? I'm so excited about it. It's a beautiful song. It's filled with encouragement. And he said this to me. He said, Pastor, I want people to hear it and know that God is still a healer. And he shared with me a testimony that his producer shared with him where he he played the song for a person who was going through sickness. And the man heard the song and and developed faith to be healed. And God healed that man. So I want you to be blessed by it. I want you to order it. You can get it. You can download it wherever you know where to go. Praise the Lord. Uh, and and uh, 
download music and uh, it's out there digitally and uh, and we're just so proud of brother Durham so many wonderful things are going on God's doing powerful things and I know where you are the Lord is blessing and if 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 you think he's not blessing I'm not going to say just keep living and you will see that God will get to you here's what I'm going to say to you open your eyes because you're blessed you're blessed right now and don't you let this world and all that's going on in it overwhelm you, scare you, frighten you, have you all uh, uh, knotted up in your stomach. As a matter of fact, this is why I'm so excited about Bible study tonight. I'm going to teach you some things, my friends, that if you practice it, and it's according to the scripture, as all that we teach is, if you practice it and if you just allow God to elevate your mind, I'm telling you, it'll make a difference in your life. And it'll cause many of the things that are causing you anxiety. They will cause those things, the anxiety of those things to go away. I said many, to be honest, it will cause all of them if you just trust God. Now, I love you. Thank you for this time. And I look forward to seeing you tonight right here at the upper room. Church of God in Christ. Wait a minute, wait a minute before we go. One more thing, one more thing, Brother Gary. Listen, this Friday night, right here at the Upper Room, May the 5th, 2023, 7.30 p.m., interceding for our generation, the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, uh, Christ Focus Young Adult Ministry. Focus Young Adult Ministry. This is where we get our podcast from. And these brilliant young, uh, young fighters for Jesus Christ, these brilliant young apologists. You see, saints, we are raising up uh, uh, many, many levels of fighters. We want here at the Upper Room, and, and God has blessed us to have a deep, bench. You see there on the poster that Gary's put up, you see picture of yours truly, but you see you pastor John Armanchuku. I tell you, I know you're seeing him everywhere out there standing for Jesus Christ. And I'm so proud of him. And the focus president, Elder Josiah Evans. If there's been, if there's a greater apologist for Jesus Christ, I haven't met him. I'm excited about this young man. I'm excited about the focus group. And, and listen, they're having prayer. Prayer. They're not coming together for games. Amen. We're not coming together uh, to play cards, you know, carnal stuff. They're calling on the God of heaven. They're calling on the God of the Bible, that God would strengthen them and that God would save our generation. And you see how Satan is coming after our generation, whether it's through a, a abortion, uh, through drag queens, reading books in schools and parents taking their kids uh, to to sit under a drag queen. Gary, I'm telling you, they've gone crazy. They, they've, they've lost their minds. They've lost their minds. Uh, parents taking little children uh, uh, in for sexual reassignment surgery. My God, I, I want to say to every young lady out there watching today, who, are, who is around my age, I'm 61 years of age, and many of you young ladies, you grown women who are watching today, you were tomboys when you were coming up. You like to climb trees, you like to wrestle, you like to do boyish things, and you know what happened one day, just didn't want to do it no more, and you became the lady that you are now, the woman of God that you are now. Let me tell you something, you thank God that you were born when you were because had you been born in this day and time, you would still come out of it. You would still shake. At a certain age, you would grow out of wanting to be a tomboy. But you may discover that your parents have taken you and operated on you and have, have butchered your body. Oh, God, help us. Father, I pray. I pray for our nation. I pray for the saints of God. I pray, Lord, that you would save America, save the lost in our country. Save, oh, God, move by your spirit. Father, encourage every believer. And God calls your face to shine on 
every born again soul in the name of Jesus. You, sir, going through sickness right there. I feel you. The Lord heal you right now. Woman of God who's been going through dealing with a bout of depression. Loose here. God touch her mind and set her free in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless your goings and the Lord bless your comings in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Now I better turn this off because I'm getting fired up and I got to save it for tonight. God bless. We'll see you tonight.